he started off his um as far as i know he started off his career he was on the show so you think you can dance mm -hmm. which i watched it when i was younger not crazy younger i think it was in like 2013 or 2014 he was yeah. on it so it was a little while ago uh but he he did that got his name known because he's a really good dancer and then um he was actually a guest dj mm -hmm. on the ellen show and then um they uh, he hit it off really well. he did really well so eventually ellen brought him on as the permanent dj for a show and then oh, eventually really? he became a uh, executive producer on her show and i don't know if you ever watched the ellen show i've never actually watched the show but i've seen a lot of clips mm -hmm. he was kind of the the nice fun personality behind the dj booth that yeah. ellen always kind of cut to and made jokes with him and he made everybody laugh he he came out a couple of times and danced in the crowd oh, like, he was always just this like really positive person really good attitude uh he was on tiktok with it. he's got three kids and a wife beautiful oh, family damn. he was on tiktok like the day before his death uh dancing with his family and his kids which is kind of crazy but so basically everybody knows him to be the super positive super happy guy perfect mm -hmm. family perfect everything um but yeah he uh so he he got an uber from his house mm -hmm. um he ubered to a hotel less than a mile away from his house took one bag packed one bag checked into the hotel by himself um the people at the hotel said he wasn't in distress or didn't seem to be in any pain or nothing mm -hmm. crazy going on um and then when he got to the hotel he turned his phone on airplane mode so nobody can contact him and then his wife started freaking out she went to law enforcement she said my husband's never done this he's never left the house especially without his car he always yeah. has his car with him um and then he missed the checkout time of 11 a.m at the hotel the next day so the hotel people obviously Why if you there? if you miss checkout they're going to come knock on your door to wake you up obviously there was no answer they walked in saw his body laying on the bathroom floor called the cops um and he ended up ended up dying from suicide from a single gunshot wound to the head um and originally i think they said there was no suicide note but what the re most recent thing that i read was uh that they did find a suicide note and it was just talking about all his past challenges and tribulations mm -hmm. that's just kind of caught up to him Damn. so he uh yeah single gunshot wound to the head there's a lot of conspiracy theories already as you can imagine really because there's a, there's a lot of conspiracies about ellen because she's oh, a very powerful lady yeah, yeah, yeah. and you you know People say that he he had a lot of secrets of hers, and oh. there's these conspiracies that he was about to let the beans or spill the beans, yeah. so he got dealt with. I don't necessarily go that route, and a lot of people's argument with that is he seemed so happy. He was posting videos with his kids, like yeah. he had the perfect life. And those people, I don't think, know what it's like to struggle mentally. Obviously, yeah. um, so I don't really dive into all those conspiracies because I like Ellen. Him, sure, he was happy. But it only takes one dark moment to, yeah, to you know. Damn, that's crazy. He shot himself. Yeah, single gunshot wound to the head in the bathroom. I think that makes it even more deep for me. Yeah, like because he was probably looking in the, in the mirror, mirror. crying, mm -hmm. and like, yeah, because yeah. I've know I've known people to do it on their bed or somewhere. Yeah, but I feel like in the bathroom it's so much more powerful because you have to really be hurting. You're just looking at yourself in the mirror and just hating yourself, and just like hating even what you see, arguing yourself with making that decision. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know, it was probably, I'm, a, I'm sure it was, he had to have been, I mean, it was just, he just had a dark, dark past, dark thoughts, whatever, so. It's so much more sad when I hear that they got kids, bro. Yeah, and one of them is like two, maybe? Yeah. Maybe younger, <clears throat> two or three, and then uh, the other two are like in the, close to the teenage age. Yeah. Yeah, he's got three kids and a wife, and their wedding anniversary was Saturday. Wow. Last Saturday. Their nine-year wedding anniversary, and then he killed himself on Tuesday. So yeah, three yeah, days ago, three days, yeah, three days ago, and his wedding anniversary was three days before that. And wow. Christmas is in a week and a half. That's crazy. Yeah, That's just it's the timing is bad. But yeah. I mean, any there's never yeah, a right yeah, yeah. time for it to correct myself. There's never a right time, but especially during the holidays, especially with kids, it's such a like you would think uh, like loving environment, yeah, like Christmas spirit. Uh, in the air and shit mm -hmm. like that. And his kids are probably never going to look at the holidays the same. Yeah. Because they're, they're always going to have this on their mind. Yeah. yeah. It'll take them a while to like want to, mm -hmm. uh, if they ever get to the point where they heal and they want to enjoy the holidays yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's crazy, bro. I can't. Yeah. yeah that the fact that you mentioned like in the restroom. Yeah. Because like there's two people that uh, I'm sure there's a lot more that I've known that 
they've taken away their life. But there's two people that come to mind when I think about this. Uh, one of them, he used to cut my hair, and we used mm-hmm. to, he was like a family friend. We were really not as close. We were close at one point in our both of our lives when we were both in high school, but he was a little bit older. Um, and he had just had a kid, bro, and he wasn't even one. And uh, it's crazy, bro. Like there was an Instagram post. Was this recent? This was like nah. This was like about two years ago. I think I remember. Did I tell you about it? I think Eric did. I don't know. The I don't know. Well, maybe. But I don't think Eric knew him. Maybe it's a different guy then. Yeah. yeah. But um, the night before, I still have the screenshot on my phone, bro. The night before, he, he, uh, it was like a bottle like of whiskey uh-huh. and like pills and a gun, and he's like a he shot. He posted of, it. Yeah, it was like a bottle of uh, a shot of so and so, and a bullet to something. Like he, I, it, it was clearly like a message, not and like it's just. I remember the barber that I go to now yeah. he sent it to me and he was like bro like look and i was just like damn like he was telling us bro yeah that's he, crazy bro and then uh you um but yeah bro it was pretty unfortunate and uh he went i believe he went to a park mm-hmm. Cameron park and was in the car or his truck and and he just took away his life yeah yeah and uh yeah i was just like damn bro like and it made me sad bro i remember i was still living in illinois i wasn't even here yet and um I went to go visit his mom because, like I said, it was family friend. Mm-hmm. Bro, that shit just broke my heart because her mom, bro, his mom, she was, like, such a loving person. Like, so yeah. nice, very nice lady. And I was like, damn, man. She always talked about her kids. She had two sons. She always just bragged about her boys and all the, every time just her boys, her boys. Yep. And I'm just like, damn, bro, I feel so bad for her mom. And, uh, yeah, bro, like, it's crazy. And there was another... A schoolmate. This is probably the one that Eric's talking about. That we were probably working together when this happened. Like we were all there, I believe. It was not more than a year ago. Um, and again, he had a kid, bro, and and he just. I don't know how he killed himself though. Yeah, um, my, uh, I'll go ahead. Sorry. I mean, and no. I was just gonna say, like, it's just crazy that you see these people and and you think they're doing okay, you know? Yeah. But it like, um, you just never really know, bro. And that's like, that's what ever. I don't know when was it when I. I guess you can say, like, somewhat matured, like, I don't like to hurt people's feelings like that. Like, I I don't really try and hurt nobody's feelings because I'm like, or if I do, I get guilty. I'm like, fuck, why did I say that? Yeah, yeah. Especially with my family or my girl. Or, like, um, uh, I don't think I've ever said anything too fucked up to you. But, like, if I say, like, uh, you know, or if I say something to you and I'm like, damn, like, why the fuck did I say that to him? Yeah, or to her, or to my mom, or sometimes I say something. I was like, "Why the fuck did I get an attitude with my mom for?" Like she probably just had a long day at work. Yeah, she was and just, I'm just yeah. shitting on her for no reason. Yep, and yeah, because I, I, bro, you just never know what people are going through. Never know, bro. My uh, I, I probably I probably told you something. My best friend that killed himself. Ever tell you? It's uh, it's kind of hard to know who you're talking about because you had a lot of friends who've like you know. Well, yeah, gone. a lot of my friends are dead, but uh, yeah. he was like, I've had a lot of close friends that died, but he yeah. was like. He was like my little brother. I don't want to yeah. say little brother on here because yeah. then people, it, I don't want to say, you know. But mm-hmm. he was like, he was uh, my best friend and he was actually, uh, he's a rapper, which I know a lot of people are rappers. But yeah. he, like I still got his music on my phone, bro. He was actually like really good. Like he, he I think he could have done something with it. And he dropped a song on Valentine's Day uh-huh. called No Heart, which I still play a lot. And uh, it was kind of just saying that, like, going. it was saying his past life, like mm-hmm. it, he was in pain, blah, blah, blah. And then um, a month later, on March 14th, yeah. Um, he, yeah, he hung himself. And then like a week before he killed himself, he was talking to me and Dalton. Uh-huh. He was planning on moving down here because oh. he had a hard life, bro. Yeah. And like how, like I'm, I have a, like I like to give to people or yeah. try to get people out of their situations if I can, if I have the means to. So like yeah. Dalton, I brought him down here because he had nothing for him in North Carolina. Yeah. And like, he's my brother. So I want him, like, I, I just want to help. Yeah. And then Sam was kind of the same way. He had nothing going for him. He had a really tough life. So I was trying to get him out of that atmosphere. Yeah. Because I knew it was rough. He, me and Dalt were going down the same path he went down, except yeah. for his was a little worse. Damn. Um, but yeah, he was supposed to be moving down here. But if he, uh, like, it was like 20 minutes after my daughter was born. Jeez. Oh, you did tell me. Yeah. 20 minutes after my daughter was born, my mom came up to me and she was like, have you been on Instagram? I'm like, obviously not. Like, yeah, I've been in here for hours. My daughter yeah. was born. She's like, well, Sam killed himself or whatever. Like, Sam, And I was like, 
get the fuck out of here. Then I, and that's the, that's the most, the, the biggest memory I have of my daughter being born is not my daughter being born. Yeah. It's running out of the room crying. I've never, I've never not once cried over death. Not my grandparents, yeah. not nobody, but it kind of killed the whole moment. I ran out of the room crying because he was like, that's the first really good yeah. friend that I ever lost. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I ran out of the room crying. Uh, he was only 17, bro. Get out no. of here. Yeah, 17. How old were you like? Uh, 20? Um, she was, wait, uh, no. Your daughter's 19, your, was your first 20. kid, right? Yeah, he was 19. He was 19. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking. He was younger than me. Maybe he was 17. He was young. He mm -hmm. was under 20. Um, and this was six years ago. So, yeah. yeah he, you were like 21? Yeah, when you my were, daughter was born. My, yeah. Cause, or five. Yeah, five and a half years ago. So, I was 21. Um, and yeah, that's pretty, yeah. But I wouldn't have known. I knew he struggled. Yeah. But even in this song, like that he wrote, he talks about his future and making plans for his future. And that's the thing, like people that do that, they make plans for their future because yeah. they, they think that they're going to fight through it. Mm -hmm. And then they just hit this one dark moment and it just, they just want to yeah. go. They just don't want to do it anymore. So yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think on the comments below. See you on the next one.